Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's September 16th, 2022. It's Friday, and it's a bit chilly. I've had to resort to putting on a sweater. When I left for work this morning, it was 9 degrees. Brr. Just two days ago, it was 30 degrees. So the temperatures have just dropped right off. Uh, yesterday, it was about 18 max. Today, it's going to be 15 max. And uh, throughout the weekend, I think the highest we're going to get is 19 degrees. So fall is here, and... Uh, I'm back into wearing a sweater or a hoodie and uh, jeans, uh, shorts and t-shirts are uh, going to be put away for the season, unfortunately. Burr. Oh well, we knew this time would come, that summer would come to an end eventually, and I guess it has. So uh, now we look forward to seeing the leaves turn colors and then fall away and Halloween and uh, all sorts of other fall things that are, are coming up. So, Friday, it's mail week. I got about 15 items came in this week. Uh, two of them are registered, so that's kind of nice. We're going to start with that in a moment. I still want to encourage you, first of all, uh, That Dad Guy Answers video comes out tomorrow, so you still have a chance to leave a few more questions in there. I hope you will, just to bolster it up a bit more. Um, so you go to That Dad Guy Answers part 31 which was last saturday leave your comments in that one and i'll answer them tomorrow in the video the second thing and probably even more important is my uh queen tribute video and i don't mean queen the band i mean queen elizabeth ii and uh, i want to uh put out a video with a little bit of a tribute to her it probably comes out monday uh, the day of her funeral is when i'm looking to do it, it would be monday or tuesday depending on how much i can get accomplished um yeah, so if you have any uh, pictures you want to submit, um, things that you have that you want to talk about, you can do it in a one-minute video or you can write it down and I'll read it for you. Uh, I would appreciate it. I know I've had a couple people who sent me uh, articles uh, from newspapers and things. I don't know if I'm going to read full articles on Her Majesty, um, but uh, I would like to uh, show some pictures and um, stamps and different things that have images of the Queen um, stories. I'll certainly read stories that have, have affected uh, you out there and uh, just whatever you can uh, come up with that uh, is important to you about what the Queen meant in your life or in your country, how it uh, has, uh, has affected you, her passing or her time in the seven years that she uh, reigned as monarch. So please get that in as quickly as possible because I'd like to uh, work on it throughout the weekend and have it ready to be uh, put out there into the world either Monday or Tuesday. So thank you in advance for that. All right, let's move on to Post Crossing and what showed up in the mail this week. The first one is this official one. It came from Slovenia. I haven't gotten too many from Slovenia, so it was kind of nice to, to get that. And uh, they wrote completely in French on the background, which uh, on the back of the card, which is all right too. Because in Canada, we speak French and English, so. I was able to go through that and uh, I appreciate uh, talking about uh, traveling and all the beautiful things that are in Slovenia so thank you Fanny for that card all right the next one comes in an envelope and it comes from Brazil there's the stamp it's hard to focus in on it but this is the card that they sent so it was 32 degrees in um, in Brazil, when he sent this, he says he's a 43-year-old university professor. And uh, he says he's in a region that's always hot. He loves games, music, books, music. And, uh, yeah, that is something from where he lives. So thank you so much for that. Oh, did I even say his name? It's Alex. Alex from Brazil. Okay, the next one is an envelope. It comes from our friend Petra in the UK. There are the beautiful stamps that she's included on this envelope. Been very fortunate to get some envelopes from her of late. Uh, the first one is this card here. And it says, pictures of perfection, as you know, make me sick and wicked. There we go. So I wanna thank her for that card. But she wasn't done. She also sent these post-it notes, hedgehog post-it notes. So that'll be perfect for covering up addresses or uh, writing little things on. I appreciate that. And uh, 
course with polo we always like little hedgehog things so thank you Petra for that and she has included some stamps I want to show you those so these are Japanese stamps if you've seen my Monday videos of recent from Kyler he loved the Japanese stamps so that there's a beautiful beautiful one love this some German stamps some English stamps these ones are from Denmark They're very cool and these ones are from Germany And these last ones are British ones. I really like this here. That looks nice. So, thank you so much, Petra, for another amazing envelope of uh, goodies and your cards and your friendship. So thank you so much for that. Okay, this next card is a first time swap. It comes from Bob in Ontario. And... Uh, he was in New Brunswick back in 2018. This is Madawaska up in the Edmondson area. This particular card is from St. Leonard. Uh, on the back here, you can see he's used some older stamps to make up the postage and they weren't canceled. So thank you for that, Bob. And uh, thanks for coming to visit. One of the interesting things he said, uh, he says at the beginning of the pandemic, he started writing to prime ministers, presidents and kings asking for their autographs. And he actually got 17 of them back. So. Way to go, Bob. That's kind of cool. All right. This next card comes from Lithuania. It comes from Skyestia. And uh, she was at a meetup, so she sent me this meetup card. There is the stamp. There are all the people that attended the meetup. It looked like it was a busy meetup. She went to another one, though. There's another meetup card. There are the stamps, and there are all the people that attended that meetup. So, it is the same meetup, they just put out two cards. So, if you saw my meetup from July, July 2nd, here in Moncton, we did the same thing. We put out two meetup cards for each one of the meetups. So, there's two from New Brunswick, two Nova Scotia, and two Prince Edward Islands. And there is a Newfoundland one coming up next year, I believe. So there's two cards for that as well. But thank you, Skyeskia, for those two. And congratulations on your recent engagement. I see that you posted that as well. So congratulations. All right. This next one, a very meaningful one, comes from the Ukraine. So Yulia reached out and asked to do a swap. And I was more than willing to do that. Uh, I love being able to trade and send mail back and forth to the Ukraine. Um, the more we can, the, be the better we are for uh, helping support their cause on the back. It's kind of like a maxi card, so the stamp matches the, the card pretty much. And then, of course, this famous stamp here as well. So thank you, Yulia, for that. And uh, at the time she wrote this, she says the country's been in war for almost six months. And he says, Russia's shelling my city every day. Many civilians die. And that was sent August 10th. So I hope this war comes to an end soon. And I do hope the world uh, continues to rally around the Ukraine to support them. All right. This next one comes from Andre in Estonia. And they were in Macedonia. And he sent this card. Let's cover this back up. You can see the stamps. And Andre, I met uh, when he came to our meetup in July. He and his wife came over and uh, were traveling through Canada into the United States and they came to our meetup. So that's cool. And I'm glad that I've got a, a pen pal now to, to do it. Uh, he and his wife are amazing. So thank you, Andre, for thinking of me and sending me that card. The next one is another first time swap. 
and this one comes from India. Um, he reached out to me through um, through Instagram. It says that he'd been following my channel and uh, wanted to do a swap. So let me just cover up. I need to use Petra's uh, Hedgehog stickers because I've run out of my sticky notes to cover up my addresses. There are the stamps. There you can see his hashtag if you wanted to look him up, the Indian philatelist. Uh, you can do that through uh, Instagram. And he also is uh, that on YouTube too. So he has his own channel. So uh, congratulations. Good for you. Hopefully uh, the uh, post-processing world and stamp world will rally around and help support you as well. Thank you so much for writing. My next card comes from Lewis in uh, United Arab Emirates. And this Here we have Dobby, the house elf from Harry Potter. And then on the back... There are the stamps. You can see there's some more Harry Potter stickers and nice washi tape decorated up very nicely. It was 42 in Dubai. Um, 42 might be a bit warm for me, but it's warmer than 15, so I would take it right now. I prefer warm weather to cold weather. Lewis also sent another card that arrived today, Catwoman. He said this is Paquita's, his uh, cat's distant cousin. And on the back, we have this stamp, and we have a variety of superhero stickers or Batman stickers, because Catwoman and Bat Catwoman and Batman are in the same DC universe. So thank you, Lewis. The next I got, what can I show you here? I'm gonna show you the front, and that'll be about it. So this one comes from Kyler in Prince Edward Island. He's used a whack of older stamps that never were cancelled. And uh, we're going to show you the contents of that at another video. You've seen Kyler's videos before. He sends wonderful stamps. So uh, he sends a lot. <laughs> so they have to make up a whole video. And uh, so I appreciate that. All right. The next card comes from Jilly. And Jilly has... She recently bought a bunch of these postcards, not this particular one, but a whole bunch of uh, support Ukraine postcards. And I had mentioned that I thought that this one was beautiful. The woman who is uh, feeding the life of the sunflower, the sunflower is generating life for the city that are around there. The uh, heart, the love for support for Ukraine with the Ukrainian colors, the patchwork in the back. There's so much detail going on in this card. I just said I love the card. And so she sent it to me. It wasn't my intention. Whenever I comment and uh, say I like something, or it doesn't mean I have to have it. I just, uh, I appreciate the beauty in it. So uh, thank you for sending it to me. Um, but yeah, anyone out there, if I make a comment on your posts or on your videos that I like something, it is not me saying I want it. It's just um, saying, wow, that's a beautiful item. All right, so, but thank you anyways. Here are the stamps that Jilly put on the back. So we've got the pride stamps that the Royal Mail put out. We also have I Stand With Ukraine, as I do. So thank you so much for that. There's some beautiful bees and sunflower washi tape at the bottom, too. Thank you, Jilly. Jilly wasn't done. She sent me a maxi card. So if you don't know what a maxi card is, that's when the postcard and the stamp match. And this is a Dinobot from uh, this is Grimlock from uh, the Transformers. Childhood memories of watching this cartoon. Um, having a few of them, but yeah, mostly watching their cartoon. So there's a stamp and that. And then, uh, so she said, uh, how can I resist this stamp and postcard? Childhood memories. I love them. Yeah, I love them too. So thank you so much. Peace to the Ukraine in the back. We've got uh, some stickers and things there. Then Julie, <laughs> she kept going. She sent me something else. So we have the parcel showed up. Stand with the Ukraine. And inside, she sent me some postcards. So we have this Alice in Wonderland postcard. We have this more traditional tulip picking in Spalding in 1951 postcard. We have this one here, Skipper Thomas Harris at age 91 of the Salvation Army. We have this one here with the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. We 
have this one here with the key. We have a Megatron postcard from the Transformer series that just came out, and also a Slug postcard from the Transformer series that came out. So thank you so much, Jilly, for sending those. Also in the packet, she sent stickers. The I Love Ukraine, Stand With Ukraine, Beautiful Butterfly with the Ukrainian symbol there in it and Ukrainian colors. There's another nice one there. And another butterfly there. And to top it all off, she sent me a keychain with a hedgehog on it. So I'm definitely going to have to use that. All my keychains currently have little Lego men on it, but uh, one of them I'm going to have to swap out and it's going to have to be a hedgehog keychain. Uh, love that. Uh, thanks for thinking about Polo. Thanks for thinking of me and sending me all these wonderful things. Um, generosity is, uh, is fantastic. Um, all of you who have sent cards either in response to uh, our swapping or just reached out above, above and beyond, like Petra, who continues to send me wonderful uh, little packets of things. Um, uh, Jilly send me some things. Yeah, there's been a list of people that uh, love sending uh, little packets and parcels, and I appreciate it. You don't have to send them, but I do appreciate them coming, and uh, it makes for good content for my channel. So uh, I should say our channel, because we're all involved in it. So thank you so much for that. What I'll have tomorrow is That Dad Guy Answers. So like I said, go ahead, put your questions in, and we'll uh, get that video out. Sunday, I'll have some postcard writing to do. I have a number of registered ones I can now send, and I'll have some responses to do for what showed up this week. And uh, there's always some people that are asking to do some swaps. There may be even some new ones that I'll have to write to. So that'll be on Sunday. Monday is the holiday for um, Day of Mourning for the, the Queen. So that day, I'm either going to have out the uh, Kyler envelope video or um, that will be the day I'll be able to tidy everything up and put out the uh, Celebration of Life video that you guys are all making possible to uh, to get it out. And that's what you have to look forward to. And uh, that's the agenda that I have for myself. I don't think there's any sort of uh, festivals or anything this weekend that I'm aware of. So I'm not sure there's going to be any sort of double up day videos. I am still trying to do a couple things with TikTok, getting used to that and putting out little short videos about uh, stamps or Lego or what have you, postcards. So uh, just for fun, if you're looking for something shorter to watch, there might be a TikTok there on that dad guy 74 that you can look at and uh, follow along or tell, I don't know. It's something new. I'm trying. We'll see if it, it lasts. That's all I got. Um, it's been a good week. Lots of nice things have come in. I don't know if you guys has had uh, such success in your mailbox. I hope you have. I hope it's been overflowing with uh, new items showing up for you guys to enjoy. Um, every week is different. That's why I love this hobby. Uh, there's new things to uh, to see in the mailbox. New stamps are showing up, and uh, new people are reaching out to to chat. So. It's great to be able to hear what's happening in different parts of the world and uh, hearing similar struggles, whether it's uh, sending children off to university and having that uh, empty nest feeling at home, whether it's uh, paying for school supplies and uh, the big price that it is to have your kids through going through uh, elementary or uh, middle or high school. Um, yeah, whether it's just deciding what are we going to make for supper tonight, <laughs> there are all sorts of things that people like to talk about and uh, enjoy doing it too. So, yeah, I know I'm rambling a bit, but that's what happens is that this hobby, you get, you get uh, exposed to a lot of different things. Um, you have generous people that send you things. You have uh, the stamps that are out there, the cards that are out there, and uh, the people that are just uh, hoping to bridge relationships through pen palling. So that's great. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys who uh, subscribe and comment and uh, tell this channel to other people too. So have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?